Hello everyone, it's Cleo here and today I'm going to be talking about some new concept art that's been found for the My Little Pony G5 movie. Now this concept art kind of bridges the gap between G4 and G5. I think the director called it G4.8 because we already had G4.5 and that was a disaster. So this is kind of between pony life and the movie, some ideas they had for what G5 could have looked like but ultimately didn't. So first up we have the particular model they call G4.8 which as you can see is like a combination between G4 and G5. We're looking a lot more G4 just made 3D. Obviously ultimately they decided to make it look quite different to this. Not massively but certainly a lot less friendship's magic than this look. Which I think is a good thing because the eyes just look too big on this and I know it's not a finished model it's not anywhere close to it, but I do think the G5 look looks better than this and I'm glad they changed it. But it is interesting that they were making models with the G4 main six. Here's an interesting one, it's a very finished Earth Pony Twilight. I don't know what was going on with that. I don't know what they meant for it to be, but it's interesting to see it. And it's cool to see Twilight in the G5 style, this is very much the G5 art style. She's wearing a little bracelet and I'm guessing that meant something in some kind of prototype at the time. She looks pretty cool and it's interesting to see. Here we have the first shot of Unicorn Fluttershy. There are lots of shots they have of Unicorn Fluttershy. This is a very rudimentary model as you can tell. It's a very unfinished blob looking birds above her. But look how willowy she is though. That's definitely a different kind of body. They didn't end up making them that tall and willowy. Here's the different face models. I believe the one on the top is the kind of face they were using for Pegasi ponies and the one on the bottom is unicorns and earth ponies and I think they did say in this live stream these pictures were found in that it didn't really change from here. This is ultimately what you see in the films. I didn't really notice that the Pegasi were more angular because it's so slight I suppose but apparently they are. Here's a really interesting prototype Rainbow Dash. They said in the stream that they changed up her mane to make her more distinct from Applejack the silhouette. Uh, ultimately they said it was just playing around. They really didn't have much intention to use this look for Rainbow Dash, uh, but it's definitely interesting. The body type is different to G5. She looks a lot uh, kind of bulky and built up, and the face is more G4. It looks more like that earlier image we saw of Twilight. She's also an Earth Pony, and I don't know what that's about, turning the ponies into different species. Here we have a slightly more completed version of that Fluttershy. Her hair has a little more detail, and now she has those lovely furry hooves, which we saw in the G5 film, because that's a really good idea, giving them hairy hooves like a real horse. And then we have more of that Unicorn Fluttershy. Apparently they were trying something here with the eyes to make it look like the eyes are very glittery. Look closely there, you see the sparkles in it. I don't think they actually gave that glitter effect in the final cartoon, but it is so pretty and it would look really good in toys as well to have glittery irises. There's a more complete Fluttershy, both sides of her, with all the hair detail in, but you see it's, it's kind of gone a more lavender colour hair. Once again, I don't know how they decide these things or decide what to throw out and what to use, but there she is, the proper G5 Fluttershy without her wings and just a horn instead. Then finally we have 3D Twilight in the G4 style, very incomplete. But overall, I think they were right to change the style more. It makes it more distinct from the G4 cartoon. And ultimately, I think it just works better in 3D, the eye shape. And that's all for this video. What picture did you think was the most interesting? I actually think that that Twilight image as an Earth Pony was the most interesting. I, it looks like there was something going on there with the bracelet that was some kind of plot idea. Otherwise, they wouldn't just randomly add it. So I do wonder what that was. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.